welcome back guys to the challenge 9 and I'm Vishwaraj and today we're gonna just complete this one so let me tell you the first the truth of the challenge 9 let's first of all try it ourselves I'm putting some random stuffs and let's check whether our data is gone okay you can see it is being inserted into the value attribute so first thing that you will um, do is to break out the syntax so let's try so and just see whether we have broke out or not you can see the quit has been filtered out okay so if we try even this one you know that's something we are familiar with okay you can do this okay so now we can see that whatever you know the special characters which are important to execute the script tags or you know have been getting filtered so we can't execute this right now okay so you will think that to execute an event base so you can't also do event base because everything is being getting filtered out so let's check whether the data uh, whether the application is being sending some hidden characters or some hidden parameters or not which may be vulnerable so let's start tampering it out and just send a tamper so you can see that it is using a character set so cat set is being used when particular kind of encoding is being used by the application so it is using cat set and let me tell you the truth the application is using utf7 UTF-7 is Unicode 7 which accepts 7-bit so right now the exploit isn't possible in this modern browser like Firefox, Chrome or even the Opera can't be possible because it is UTF-7 and according to HTML5 sec, uh, they have clearly mentioned that all those support for UTF-7 is being get depreciated and currently UTF-8 is being in support so for executing any kind of vector you just need to use that browser which is having UTF-7 and right now none of the browser supports that you know because this was leading to XSS vulnerability and if we will even check in the OWASP let's check what OWASP says about this OWASP UTF-7 XSS so even if we check about UTF-7 we can't execute in the modern browsers right now prove me wrong if uh, I'm mistaking some kind of stuff because that's what I know and I have tried and tested out and uh, you can try the older versions of IE uh, you might it might be possible to get something over there so where it is UDF 7 so you can see UTF-7 encoding is there and it is saying that the payload that we can use is this. It is just similar to a script tag that we use, you know, a script, then alert, then closing syntax. But it is having certain special characters in different manner. The plus sign, the minus sign. It is the opening bracket, it is the closing bracket, then it is the opening and this is the closing. So let's try this only. What happened with us? So paste this and just execute so nothing happened over here and nothing so you already is being stated that UDF 7 is being depreciated for the modern browsers so but still we need to complete this challenge so what you can do so just click Control shift and K because not mm, exploitation is not possible right now so what you can do is just fool it make a fool that yes we have completed the challenge because this challenge series are the part of a capture the flag which was initiated by war games or war accesses I don't know the um, clearly but we have to complete this so yes this was the only option for us was left so thank you guys for watching I will catch you guys in the next tutorial this is challenge number 8 I will cap, uh, continue this one in the next series so thank you guys for watching and please do like subscribe and share this was only for knowledge purpose and uh, uh, if you wanted to really exploit this you really wanted to dig it out what is it all about how you know exploit will work how encoding works then try it out in the older versions of IE that will sure work for you so thank you guys